I had this World War I trench brass lighter for some time now and thought why not polish it to its previous beauty. Since it is made of brass over time due to moisture and air, it tends to corrode, but differently from steel. While steel creates flaky rust, brass creates a patina layer that you can also notice on this lighter. This layer acts as a barrier that prevents more air and moisture from contacting the brass substrate, thus stopping further corrosion. First thing we need to do is disassemble the lighter. There are basically two main parts of this lighter. A windshield, or the part that slides up and down and provides wind cover once the lighter is lit, and the main body which holds the cotton and the fuel. Once the lighter is disassembled, we can proceed with polishing. We will use the green polishing compound. Now, the color of the polishing compound depends on the manufacturer and stands for how abrasive the paste is. For this manufacturer, the green means last polishing stage for steel and first polishing stage for brass. What it actually means is that we can use it on brass and if we want, we can achieve an even better result with a finer paste, which won't be necessary in this case. I'm also using felt buffing discs for a Dremel tool on which we are going to apply the paste. So, we start with the main body of the lighter. My advice would be, stay patient and try to get as much of the surface polished as possible, which is not an easy task due to such an uneven surface. Next is the lighter's windshield, which again is not going to be easy to polish because of the cap and the tight space around some corners. You can also decide to polish the inside of the windshield to take the dirt off as well as the corrosion. Once you put all parts back together, it really looks good. As good as new. This was an easy project and my first venture into polishing. I would say it turned out very well. What say you? Till the next time, have a good day.